Hello everybody, Kawaii Konako here, back with another tutorial video. This one is going to be very different from some of the others. Um, today, I want to be showing a topic uh, that might not have been brought up much, but it is how to um, obtain popularity within Rec Room. Now, um, yes, it's a very uh, simple topic and um, very self-explanatory, but you know, some players might struggle, um, with becoming popular and stuff, um, and the reason why you might want to become, uh, popular is, well, see, for contests, um, which not many players know about for some reason, um, it helps your contests, like, your maps for contests, it boosts, um, the amount of people that might, uh, come into your contest rooms and, um, all that, um, but, yeah, pretty much. Um, and also, it also helps some other m future maps that you guys make. Um, it boosts those, gets people in, and uh, people just basically admire and respect you. Um, but of course you have those players that don't, uh, that they just like joking around and doing all that. But um, yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, number one is build a rooms. Um, yeah, I know. Um, so basically what building a room does is, uh, puts your content out there for others to see. Um, so, for example, if, uh, you make, uh, if you publish your room and someone looks into your portfolio, they might be that curious little specimen, um, might click on your room, go to it, and, uh, might find it interesting. Um, but rooms alone, just publishing your room is not gonna instantly get you popular because you need people, um, to get it up there. And... Um, some tips on maybe uh, getting your room up there to uh, for others to see is, well, one, inviting your friends list. Um, inviting friends, um, if they're kind enough, uh, joining the room will get, gain views. Thus, gaining the views will um, boost the room um, up on the pages, and it will go up there. And if you can get enough people, it might um, go onto the hot page. Um, which you need a lot of views. But views alone isn't just the thing that determines a room. Um, it's also the cheers and favorites you get from people as well. So, um, you can always, uh, ask, uh, them to favorite and cheer the room. It doesn't hurt to ask. So, uh, don't be scared to do any of that. Um, and, well, if you're the person that doesn't have, well, any friends on their friends list, I know it sounds bad, then option two you can always go to rec centers and ask around. Um, so for example, um, you could join a rec center, you could go up to people and say, hey, uh, so I uh, started this project and uh, I'm uh, beta testing for some bugs and fixes on my map and I was wondering if you'd like to come uh, check out my uh, PvP map. And well, the two responses is, sure, I would love to, um, in which the player, you can then proceed to party up with the player. Uh, and then you can go around and see if anyone else wants to, or B, they might say no. If they do this, then that's fine. Just, um, you know, say thank you for your time, um, and just kind of walk away. Um, so yeah, you don't have to be rude about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, when I went, well, <clears throat> I was doing it for my movie room, and, um, people said it was self-promoting, um, I don't really think it's self-promoting if you're doing it in a rec center. Um, the only way I believe uh, it would be self-promoting is if you were going to like hot, like featured rooms, hot, like hot rooms and all that, and you were going around asking people, then yeah, it would probably be self-promoting because you're doing it in other people's rooms. But doing it in the rec center is totally fine because it's a public place. Um, you have a voice and you're allowed to speak, so... Alright guys, so number two is entering contests and making inventions. Um, so entering contests, um, what that can do is, well, um, so if you enter a contest or via room or make your pin like um, selling inventions on the store, uh, then you have a chance to become a bit more known uh, and a bit popular. You might gain subscribers if people like it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that. Now the reason why it helps is because one um if you do a good enough job and people like well whether it's a simple piece of um work or if it's a 
full on decked out um tube masterpiece then um you know you can kind of gain people and well the way I did it like I said before for the first um for the first one you know maps and asking around and whenever you get contests you can go around asking people um to check out your map or your invention for the contests and that's another way to get popular um so yeah basically building building stuff is uh how you do it all right guys so the third one as you can see is going to rooms um like you know hot rooms um just featured rooms any type of rooms that's public and has a uh, mass populate uh population so uh essentially what what i mean by this is well if you guys go there you start hanging out making friends and um you know doing all that then um you know uh you can get in some more fan base and subscribers and uh you can get people um if they like you enough to uh, friend you thus making your name more known in the community now um of course this isn't you know 100 percent but this kind of helps um get your name out there uh, just a tad bit more um just kind of like that all right guys so the fourth tip i can give you um is joining maker pin classes um if you guys are wondering how to do that uh there are youtube tutorials that will show you how to join a maker pin class and um you know mm, the reason why i say this is because well um make your pin classes do they grant you the ability of course to become better with a maker pin they also grant you access to getting this amazing hat that i have which is the green gown but it also gives you access to friends um teachers who, in which know how to build um and well you basically build project rooms and uh if if you guys can get it good enough um and the uh the rr staff li likes it enough it could possibly get featured on the featured page and if that happens then people might start going to the room thus boosting popularity thus gaining subscribers thus getting your name more known in the community bringing hints popularity to you all right guys so number five is videos and streams well what i mean by this i mean like what I'm doing now, making a video for um, you people to see, thus bringing um, viewers in, uh, getting subscribers, getting content out there, all that good stuff. Um, so making making videos and streams um, gets you more known in Rec Room, mainly because you, people might stumble onto you if you're cu if they're curious enough um, by accident, whether it be by accident or just by choice. Um, you know, like, let's say you make a tutorial video like I do, and someone searches up, like, uh, how to make a bed in Rec Room. Well, then they somehow scroll down, they find your video, they click on you, and then they subscribe. Um, and they become more interested in your content, thus getting you more views and followers, and getting your ma uh, name a bit more known in the community. Um, another thing you can do, um, if you do have a YouTube, is you can, uh, put your YouTube, um, in your bio in Rec Room. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because, um, usually there's a lot of people in Rec Centers that will always point at you and click, um, to read people's bios. And, uh, if, if they, um, if, like, the uh, YouTube link and stuff piques their interest, they might go check out your channel. Um, thus getting you a bit more, um, views and stuff. Uh, hence making you maybe a bit more known um, so you can do that also streams um, kind of help as well they boost um, they boost basically getting people in um, you can't I don't really think it's a good idea to go around saying that you're a youtuber and all that but I mean it is uh, just a good idea just to you know have it in your bio just in case people uh, do that and if someone asks about it then you can mention it um, but yeah there's that last but not least guys um we have events which is the best viable option for um becoming popular within the game um the reason this being is well if you create an event it, it will show up on the events page um maybe 
Um, so like it, let's say we click this and then we have live and as you can see we have a bunch of live events going on so if you guys make an event like let's say a 4k token giveaway um, that's one good way to uh, pique people's interest and um, you know gain a bunch of followers now I do not recommend scamming like some people might do like putting 5k and then the person wins and you don't get 5k that will just kind of make your reputation go down and reputation is kind of important in this game if you want to like you know do stuff like become a mod or you want to build rooms um enter contests all that uh and become maker pen teachers maybe in the future it all depends on good reputation guys like you need good reputation for all this stuff um but yeah um some other ways to become popular as i said um before uh, you can join Maker Pen class, or you can become a teacher. But becoming a teacher means they have to review and sponsor your stuff. Um, but that, you guys, like I said, you can look up videos on that. And uh, people will teach you how to do that. Um, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. Um, the purpose is just to kind of give you guys maybe an idea. Like maybe new starters or some people that um, are wondering uh, all that stuff. Um, how to become a bit popular in the game. Just to kind of give you a vague idea of how to do that. Um... And the reason why is because, well, like, let's say you guys want to enter contests or something. Um, having having just the utmost bit popularity will help um, you boost your maps and such. And thus, um, getting it up there in the top ten for contest, um, then helping um, you win, maybe, contests, um, if the R staff likes it. Also, um, if you guys aren't popular, um, like, well, me, I'm not, I'm not a very big person in this game, um, you know, if, if you're not, then, uh, just work hard at it, you know, just do your best, work really hard in the game, um, just keep doing what you do every day, and, uh, you know, you guys will eventually, you know, get known in the community, well, uh, you could, you, like I said, um, like most people might ask, uh, or say, it takes time, guys, to get popular and gain a bunch of, like, you know, fans. It doesn't just happen overnight. You have to put um, effort and work into um, getting known in the community. Alright guys, so I know this was a bit um, different from my other tutorials that I've done where I do building and stuff, but I thought, um, why not bring up the subject of um, popularity and such. Um, Mainly just because uh, I just kind of, well, from the recent um, contest and such, um, I just mainly want to show you guys um, how you might want to like, get no more known in the community and get a bit up there. Um, if, you guys, if you guys are, like, you know, obsessed with maybe getting known and popular and such. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not really about becoming popular or um, being known. If you're like this uh, sweet, silent, and quiet type, you know, um, you just gotta work hard at what you do, and eventually you'll achieve whatever goal you have. Um, and you can also use most of these tips I've given you um, to your advantage for future contests as well. Um, one thing I did forget to mention, um, becoming more known, is joining Rec Room Discord and being active there. Um, like, speaking in general, uh, talking in, you know, um, y all the chats, posting tutorial videos and such, you guys can also, um, gain, uh, you know, get more known that way. Alright guys, I know this wasn't the best tutorial I've done, um, but I just wanted to do something so maybe people might get an idea of how to get maybe a bit more known and maybe use some of these tips I've given them to their advantage for, or like, uh, future contests and rooms. But yeah, if you guys did like this mini tutorial, then make sure to give it a like. Uh, also, consider subscribing to the channel um, just so we can get our content out there. Uh, comment what you, ne the next tutorial you guys might want to see in the future. Um, and yeah, uh, but uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you cuties in the next video. Bye-bye!